Bonjour, hello, and welcome to Max Mountain World. Today a little ski video, just nothing in particular, just thought I'd go out. Been a week since my last ski, something like that, I don't know. But uh, just thought I'd go out and just see what's happening, see what the conditions are like, see what people are up to. Today's a Friday, Friday in the last week of January. 2022 obviously. Okay, here's the video. So as I say, just start at the top here, just over 2600 meters. Gotta just uh, stick the camera on the end of the sticks. Just a few icy patches in places. I want a little steep bit on the start of this red run. Icy in the middle, so I use the sides to make the turns. Quite steep. <laughs> okay, bon appetit. So just stop there just to help a friend that crashed. He's a really good skier, but everyone's prone to crashing. So yeah, surprises, hit an icy patch, and then one of these moguls, and I can throw you. The guy was traveling too. Little kickers. Yahoo! Yeah, nice. I've just come out at lunchtime, half past twelve. Most people have gone in for lunches and snacks and drinks and things. So nice to have the feast, like this huge feast, more or less empty. Untouched. <laughs> Delta. So you go slightly off the pistes. You don't need to go off piste as such. Basically go and find stuff that very few people have played upon. But there's often a lot of little kickers, all sorts. Even a bit of powder. Yeah, I suspect this next bit won't be too easy, but I'm only going straight over it. It's actually quite nice, quite soft. Jump, <laughs> black run, or the bottom end of it anyway. Ice, ice, baby. And you can see not many people around. For me, this isn't really the conditions for bombing it everywhere. Although there's a bit, there's a few bits where you can go fast. But to me, it's more fun just to play around on stuff. So we'll go and see what we got.
uphill. top there came basically down there take the next Fontaine's lift go up there into the next valley so usual rigmarole ski pass get the backpack off so it doesn't get tangled up get it off one shoulder anyway just now and we're ready to go here we go Bonjour. Bonjour, ça va? Très bien. Ok, so. Backpack clear. On the stop. My chariot awaits. Bonjour, merci. Here we go. Up, up, and away. So, I got the old uh, hot hat on. The wind chill on my forehead was getting a bit, uh, a bit excessive, especially at speed. Uh, just like when you drink a cold drink too fast and you get that brain freeze effect. So yeah, it's, it's all pretty good, the odd icy patch, you even caught out a, a very, very good skier, that guy. Way, way better than me, but yeah, we're all prone to it. Gravity affects us all. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to ski around and... Uh, yeah, but a lot of people saying, well, you know, I've, I've had a bit of criticism lately. Why aren't you wearing a helmet? Even had one guy thought he'd make a, a smart comment and say, well, you, you wear a seatbelt when you drive. Uh, my answer to that was, yeah, but I don't wear a helmet unless I'm racing. So <laughs> I prefer the all round vision, the preventative attitude, being 360 degree aware all of the time, and that way no one's going to crash into me. I'm not going to crash into anyone because I don't lose control. So basically, that's it. I find the same with goggles. Goggles are very restrictive, tunnel vision type effect. So I wear the shades, plus the advantage, these are also the shades cam, so they're very handy to just bang on if there's something I want to do a video. So anyway, heading up here, I go off left from the viewer's view down the bottom, and uh, not really much choice, but uh, I'm going to head over that way, maybe take the peak vert lift up and go up the other side of the mountain and play around in the forest. So I'll have a little look, conditions very good on the piece, it's amazing how well they keep them. So, uh, okay, onward with the video. So just on the arrival of the Fontaine's lift and same procedure, see that? My straps are actually caught under the bar there, so make sure all my straps are clear, sticks with it, everything's ready to go. I'm not going to get stuck dangling off this when it heads back down. A bit of drifting been happening here, but uh, yeah. Get the bar up when we're at a safe height. And we arrive. Down to this area, which unfortunately is closed. Due to lack of snow, we're still waiting on the next uh, snowfall. What we sometimes have here on Thursdays and Fridays is what I call the, the end of week experts. Guys who've skied here for a week, ching, ching, and they think they're brilliant and they just ski far too fast for their own ability. And the fact at the end of the week they're more tired than the beginning of the week, leg muscles, stuff like that. So there's a group of four guys that are skiing together and as you see, yeah, not quite so expert. So I'm gonna follow these guys a wee bit more. But this one in the multicolor, way beyond his own capability.
and that is how accidents happen even with a, a pretty good skier that they just didn't get yeah when things do get a bit chaotic and busy like that you just wait a minute or two and it all clears so carry on down the steep way Junction clear. skis and accelerate past these guys Slalom poles are all a bit twisted so that they tuck into the sides. Nice carving. kind of animal anyway <laughs> little assistance ha sama <laughs> <laughs> ah, je vous remercie, c'est sympa. Voilà. Merci beaucoup. Ok, c'est rien. Bon ski, bon après-midi. <laughs> Always stop to help. So just a little buzzing around. As you can see, a beautiful, beautiful day yet again. We had a few high wispy clouds yesterday, but apart from that, We've not seen a cloud here, a cloud cloud, you know, not these wispy slidey things, but actual clouds. I've not seen them for 17, 18 days now. So that's why the conditions, not always the easiest, but not the most difficult. So even the best skiers and some of the not so best skiers come in a grief with that. So we'll see, uh, I'll have a, a little buzz around a bit more. If I catch anything, I'll, I'll zap it on the, the shades cam. So uh, that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching. Keep subscribing and until the next video, ciao.
quick view check on the, the GoPro. Uh, <laughs> zoom in a bit. Zooming in on the move for the GoPro is quite awkward, but just as we come around the back of the very top of one side of the ski area here, way across the other side there, beautiful views off the left there, a serious off piste area. I'm on my skis, so sorry if it's a bit fidgety. Looking round over towards Devil Wee over to the west and the lake below. And currently that lake is about 1,600, 1,700, something like that. I'll put it up on screen below me. And then we've got the part of Zekra ahead of us here with uh, over to the north. Just behind the Busalenk mountain directly ahead of us here. Uh, Italy would be the next continuation of the mountains on the horizon there. So anyway, I'm going to head down here and uh, just while there's nobody about, do a little speed run. Sides. It's actually quite nice. It's quite a nice surface. Yeah, really cool. Wow, that was really nice. Little avalanche of crystal. <laughs> yeah. I see and very nicey. <laughs> oh, wow, powderous. Quick jump turn. Not sure the surface. Oh, it's really nice.
Ah ouais, sans cela il c'est pas pareil hein. On est d'accord. Mmh. Allez on se casse. Ça va vraiment trop vite. Ah ouais non. Là t'as perdu 15 degrés en deux secondes là c'est pas bon. Moi bon, arrête. Euh, merci à toi de m'avoir.